plenty of film in the camera. And you, and you look at something and you know it. And I can't do that. But I can find my way there. And that's why, like that, you know how I taught you how to find all the angles on a unit circle? There are some teachers that teach you to memorize all of those. And they drill you and drill you and you memorize them. But I, you know what, that doesn't work for me. And if it doesn't work for me, I can't teach you something that doesn't work for me. So that's, you, got, you have to get my slant on things, if you will, okay? I, I am uh, oriented to find my way there. I don't want to memorize it all. I just want to make sure I can get there if I want to go there. You know, so there's a path, pathway. There was a hand up. Whose was it? Yes? Is this used in any jobs in real life? Uh, probably not. <laughs> and how did it even get created? Uh, some guy, probably a French or a German mathematician. Don't blame it on us. <laughs> they invented most of the math. It started in uh, Iraq. A lot of it started in an Iraq a long time. That's where the center of mathematics was for a while. And then it was in Egypt, and then it moved to Europe. People built the pot. And, and then as they, as they did all this, they were able to uh, create more things, you, mostly for war. You know? You have to know what angle of elevation and how fast the velocity is coming out of the muzzle. Yes? It was great. I had a blast. I haven't had that much fun in a while. You know, you quit doing that kind of stuff. I quit doing that kind of stuff. I used to do that stuff daily. Who's the goalie for your team? Me? You? I did a couple of good things, and I had a couple of things go through my legs. You know? I think there was one that I had it, and I dropped it, and it kicked off my foot and went to goal. <laughs> that was a really proud moment. <laughs> no. Now you know what? At the beginning, I know I know what you're supposed to do. When, you're, when somebody's coming at you with the ball, you're supposed to run at them. You charge them. And you know what? And I did that a couple times, and I got the ball. And one time, I think I got the person with the ball, too. <laughs> they went flying. And I, you know what? I, I, I didn't want to do that anymore. Man, I'm, over, I'm way over 200 pounds, and I'm, you know, I'm running into somebody that's half my weight. I'm going to win. <laughs> you know? But those girls are very good. They're very good players. This is going to be tangent squared x plus 1 is equal to secant squared x. Hey, just to finish up something we were talking a minute ago, I want to, I want to give you my opinion on something. I think that these days, in this modern life, that you're not given very much to do that actually matters. And it drives you crazy. If you were doing things that mattered, you'd be more involved. You'd be, uh, you'd feel better about yourself. You'd be creating some sort of identity. You'd be getting good at something. But in a way, in my way of thinking, there's very little that you do that matters at all. And I'm always trying to find something to do that matters for me. And I don't know what happened. But, uh, Boy, we could talk about that for a month. <laughs> you know? I don't, I, don't, I don't have a solution. I don't have an answer. But I do read a lot. And my reading a lot, especially my reading of history a lot, leads me to think that. You know? I'm trying to think of what, what matters anymore. You know, as far as things that we do. And, uh, and as opposed to just keeping you busy, as opposed to just keeping you busy, you know. And I don't buy what most people say, like, "Well, you really need this to learn how to think or whatever." All right, all right okay, I guess. <laughs> but hey, I need I need a job, so you know, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I always had this whole thought. What if you went to, uh, what if you, you know, you enrolled in college and you don't know what your major is going to be, right? Mm -hmm. So you're looking through the course catalog and uh, you know what, you were always into like 
King Arthur and Dungeons and Dragons and that that whole <laughs> medieval thing. And you see there's a major in dragon slaying. You're gonna get your Bachelor of Arts in Dragon Slaying, right? So you take you take Dragon Slaying 101 and uh, you know 105 B and then you advance Dragon Slaying. Are you with me? Are you with me so far? And what does slaying mean? Oh, kill. Oh, okay. That, that, that's what they call the, the guys that go after the dragons with their swords. Oh, okay. Dragon slayers. They slay them. They oh, kill okay. them. That's an English word for kill back okay. in the day. People don't say that as much anymore. So you graduate from college, and you got your degree, and you're looking for a job. You're going on to, you know, usajobs.org. Nothing there for dragon slayers. You know, <laughs> you're trying to find something. And then you find a job. You know what it is? Teaching dragon slaying. <laughs> That's the only job you can get. <laughs> you, get you get your teaching credential in dragon slaying and you teach it. That's that's kind of that sums up what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating. You know, actually, I, I did after I graduated. That I I found an awful lot of jobs that uh, the requirement was a degree in mathematics. And there's some pretty good jobs you can work for the government. All you need is a degree in mathematics, and you can go to work, and it pays pretty well too. But I'm I'm not interested in having my own office. Is yours just a degree in like general mathematics or no Yeah, yeah, it's uh it's I have the, the BS in math. I think there's an ad degree in math. That's easier. But I had to take the those out of sight classes. Yeah. I can't believe I made it through those. I had a lot of uh I was very motivated. Okay, so these are the three trait identities to kill dragons with. Okay? There they are. Don't memorize these. That one you can memorize. It looks like a Pythagorean theorem, doesn't it? Think of a unit circle and triangle with a hypotenuse of one. A squared plus B squared equals one squared. X squared plus Y squared plus X squared equals one squared. But you, you'll use that enough times that you'll remember that one. These ones, you, the only, you're only going to use it like on a homework assignment, and it'll be one of your test problems. But that's about it. But this one, this one keeps going along. OK? You know what? To some extent, this does not You know, those of you who want to go into engineering, you want to be a doctor, you want to, if you want a degree, if you want a degree with, um, with the letters BS, Bachelor of Science, after it, uh, you have to know how things work, how matter relates to other matter, and it's described mathematically. You need the mathematics to do the physics of it, and you need the mathematics to understand the chemistry of it, and it all kind of goes together. Those three things all go together, and you know what? All of this here, if you will, I think I might. I don't know if I said this at the beginning of the year, but this is kind of a, it's a, it's a language that you have to learn. And it's a universal language that you have to learn if you want to do those things. Okay? And the deal is, it's, I, in a way, it's kind of like an English class. It's a foreign language class. I mean, why do you learn the alphabet? You know, why do you learn vowels and consonants and all these rules? And so someday you can communicate in writing. Okay? So there's no way you could write somebody a story unless you learn all that stuff first. So there's no way you can communicate or understand a communication uh, about those type of technical things unless you learned all this stuff first and you were familiar with it. That's that's what I would have to say, and that is not very many people in the in, in, you know statistically, like in the United States, I'd say I'd say less than three percent of the population has a bachelor of science degree. Most of the degrees are Bachelor of Arts. Mm -hmm. Bachelor of Science is difficult. <coughs> it's more difficult. It's more technical that way. That's my. That's that's how I see it. That's not true. That's what I see. Okay. So, you guys had these homework problems to do. Let me make sure I have the right paper here. Hey, tonight's assignment. It's about just as easy. I just brought those papers out here so I could hand them out to people. But 
put it under here. I'm gonna stick it in here. Ah, somebody's calling me to tell me where they are. Where are those papers? Hi. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, right on. You're welcome. Bye bye. Hey, John, the Valley Post wants to interview you. Yeah, uh, go, you need to go to the attendance office. Do you not feel like being interviewed? <laughs> you know what? Here's what you do. I, I know there's two things that help not being interviewed. One is you could just say, I'm not taking any questions. That works in class, too. And then the other one is, uh, what if they ask you a question, like, like ask me, uh, how did I enjoy playing football this year? Just ask me that. Well, let me answer you that by asking you this. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck could chuck wood? <coughs> See, and then that throws them off a little bit. <laughs> or, how about this? What do you mean by football? <coughs> so you go, how do you play football this year? What do you mean by football? <coughs> what would you what say? What do you mean by football? Huh? <coughs> no, you, when you say something like, you know, football that you play, and you go, what do you mean by play? And just keep going. What do you mean by? And pick something out of what they have to ask you, and you, they won't get their interview. <laughs> you know exactly what to say. No, I would, but I got to do this. Say everything positive. Don't say anything bad. Uh, wait a minute. There's no. There's no I in team. Uh, it wasn't me. It was all the guys around me. Uh, I wouldn't be alive today if it weren't for Coach Grandel. Uh, <laughs> just all that. <laughs> hey, that also goes with the letters out here, my name, BS. Okay. Okay, so I found the homework assignments. Um, what, what problems would you like me to do for you? What, what, what are you stuck on? Yeah, all of them. The last three? Thirty nine and then two above it. Thirty nine and two above it. Okay. So thirty three. Okay, let's do that. Let's start with thirty three. Problem thirty three. I'll tell you what, the first few there, Natasha, is you just you just using this stuff. Like it says if sine is this and cosine is that, what is tangent? And you just put the numbers over each other and divide them. Yes, Rachel? I was just going to ask if you could go over the basics like really fast. Okay, you bet I will. And, and as I do these, I'll, after I, answering your questions, it will enable me to go over a bunch of it. And what I did, then I'll do. Okay? Because there's about four or five of you in here. Okay, 33 says if cosine theta is equal to negative 7 over 15, mm -hmm. and we're in quadrant 3, what is cosecant theta equal to? Now, something I, 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 I failed to mention yesterday that might have been a little bit helpful. Do you, do you see that we're not interested in any angles at all when we're doing this? We're not interested in radians or degrees or anything. We're just saying there's some angle in there that's giving us this. But we're not interested in what that is, are we? But we're saying, so theta, you don't worry about what theta is. Now, here's the deal. They gave us these two pieces of information, and they want us to come up with this piece of information. Now, what I would do is this. First of all, I have the cosine, and I know that if I have the cosine, I could find the sine, couldn't I? Right here, and that's one of the basics. And I'm, you're going to see that in a second. Isn't cosecant equal to 1 over the sine? So if I use this number, to find the sine, I could put it in here to find the cosecant. Abby, do you see that? Okay, so I have sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write sine <coughs> squared x plus, now look at this. Oh, for those of you who weren't around yesterday, see those little squared signs? It means the same as this. It 
it's just that's how they run